Hello everyone, Vita Zay for you back here with another how to play. Today we're looking at Lowdown. I'm going to give you the lowdown on Lowdown. This is by Mattel, the makers of Bruno. And it's all about having the lowest score. And you get a bunch of number cards in different colors. And there's some special cards as well, which I'll explain what they do. And they go up to 10, 1 to 10. The special cards are all in the gray-black color. This is a 2, uh, the 2 doesn't matter, but it is a peak card. You see this symbol? It allows you to peek at a card that is face down on the table. It could be yours, could be your opponent's. There is, and it's interesting that these borders are not even. I'm sorry if they did that intentionally, but pretty interesting. You got cards like this. These are swap cards. This allows you to swap the locations of any two cards in your grid, including face up or face down cards. And there is one more special card. Well, there's a couple more. There's also cards like this. This is a negative five points, any color. This card's like this with the two arrows. These are steel. You play this, it allows you to exchange a card from another player with one in your grid. Whether it's face up or face down again. This uh, game has similarities to like Play 9 for instance. Which I looked at before. Uh, essentially it's very similar you know, if you're trying to have the lowest score. I'm just trying to go through see if there's anything else. There is not. I will shuffle up the cards a little bit. And we'll go through it. Each player is going to be dealt nine cards face down. You're not going to look at them. Side. Instead, you're going to play them into a nine, into a three by three grid, a nine card grid, just like so. And that's where the, the peaking kind of comes into play. I'm going to sum these up a little bit here. Bear with me. So, You then put the other cards there for a draw pile. There's going to be a discard pile next to that. <clears throat> Each player must now choose two random cards and flip them face up. Very good. And of course, you want to have the lowest overall score. You're going to do that by replacing cards and hopefully eliminate some cards. Once, I believe once you have all, one player has all the cards face up, the game ends, just like Play 9 and other similar games. Based on the game of golf, I believe is what it is. The youngest player goes first, and then you continue going clockwise. Like I said before, it's two to six players. It does take some space, so make sure you have a lot of space if you're playing with multiple people, or a bunch of people. And you're gonna keep playing, Plane, I can't even speak, until somebody hits 50 points. Whoever has the lowest amount of points at that time wins the game. So when it's your turn, you can either take the top card from the discard pile or draw a card from the deck. In fact, we need to flip over the top card from the discard pile. So now I can take one of these cards and replace any of the cards face up or face down.
if I were to take this card from the discard, I must replace one of the cards face up or face down. And then take that card and put it in the discard pile. If I were to take this card, which is what I'm going to do, I can immediately discard this if I don't like it. And I don't really like it. <laughs> and now it's my opponent's turn. They have the same options. And now if you draw an action card, you can either perform the action, such as swapping a card, peeking, or stealing a card. Or you could use it to replace a card in your grid. So my opponent's going to go, takes a card, he doesn't really want that because, well, I, you know what, he's going to take that. He's going to replace the 9. He changes his mind because now he's got a lower score, right? Uh, a 7, that doesn't really help me out. So my opponent's going to go a four. Yes, he will replace that six. It's my turn again. Ooh, I can use this to peek at any card. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to replace the seven. My opponent's going to go. He's going to do the same thing. Maybe he replaces this card. Ooh, okay, that was only a three. I'm going to take that three, though, and I'm going to replace this five. My opponent then goes. He's... I replace this card perhaps. Oh, it's a four. That was useless. My turn. Yeah, let's replace this one. Okay, well, it, it's one point different. <clears throat> so my opponent goes, draws a card, it's a three. Let's risk it. Oh, yes, that was a big, big one. Big, good one to get because it's a lot of points. <laughs> That's my turn. A six. I don't really want that. Bone goes, he doesn't want the six, he also doesn't want that. Three. Um, let's try here. Oh, very nice. Bone goes, it's a minus five. He is going to take that and let's see, replace. Well, actually, he's going to replace this four. Ah, a two. Um, I'm actually going to play this and swap these two cards. Why am I doing that? Because if I have three cards that are all the same color, either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, I can get rid of those three cards, and that reduces my score even further. So it makes sense to use that. My opponent decides he's going to take that card and just replace this one. Good call. I'm going to go draw a card. Ooh. I'm going to play that here. Probably goes. It's a six. He doesn't want that. Neither do I. A four. Well, let's try here. So do you want? you want to get rid of the high ones? Oh, my opponent is going to use that to swap these two cards, the same idea that I did. And I'm going to take that one myself and replace this one. Yes, very nice. And yes, if I get three of these in a row, I can get rid of those as well. Three black cards, I can get rid of those as well. So, my opponent goes, it's a nine, you don't want that. A ten, no. <laughs> my opponent, he gets a zero. Um... Say he replaces this four. A six, I don't want that. My opponent goes here. It's a negative five. Why not? You take that, you get rid of five points. I'm gonna go, oh, a five, yes. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna replace this because then I get rid of these three cards that are all the same color. My opponent is gonna select a card. It's a five, he's gonna discard that. Actually, he should have taken that one, he made a mistake. Nope. On goes, he's going to take that too and replace this. 
is my turn. I, so I will place this card, <laughs> another 10. And then my opponent goes, he doesn't want that seven. Um, so I will replace this card and then the game ends. Pretty simple, pretty quick, I think. So like I said, if you get three in a row like I did, that are all the same color, you get rid of them and it doesn't have to be, it could be at the end of the game as well, like right now. And there's no points for those. Now these are wild cards, they can be any color, so he could have swapped this at any point in time and got rid of those. He didn't, my opponent, so his loss. <laughs> so you keep playing until either all the cards in a grid is face up or until the draw pile is empty. And we do go through it pretty quickly, especially if you had more people playing, of course. And you're going to add up uh, points on your cards, whoever has the fewest amount of points, wins. I'm just trying to see something here. Oh yeah, okay. he's going to flip this, ooh, <laughs> he lost. And you get to flip over your remaining cards. And um, yeah, I can't recall if he could eliminate this because they're all black or not, if they have to be the same symbol. Let me see here. Now, you can only, oh, I made a mistake here, I apologize. You can only choose to use this accent, which actually I don't think we did make a mistake, maybe we did. You can only use this accent if you draw it from the draw pile. If you take it from the discard, you cannot use the accent. I apologize if I muddled that up. Now, it's important to note as well that if you clear a row, it may make it difficult or impossible to clear other rows. So I cleared this row, I would no longer be able to clear any of these rows. If diagonally, if you do this, you can't clear anything else. So you, you kind of want to avoid clearing cards diagonally. It's just not great. So I have three, five, seven, eight, nine points. My opponent has 10, 16, 19, 20, minus 10, is 10 so i win <laughs> yay that is lowdown that's the lowdown on lowdown it's a pretty cool little fun game again it's based on a card game golf like play nine and another game i got coming up called ripple at some point in time um yeah that is that i think it's cool comment like subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks for watching hit the bell for notifications see ya